seats that you should be able to sit on. <laughs> there are acres of carpet. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Collective Works for this great occasion. Maybe we should start right at the beginning with a huge uh, applause for Renata and Susan. So thank you everybody for coming and all of, of course, the Spinifex authors for coming. Yes. Thinking of the beginnings of a press and the reasons for a press, the historical, literary, political contexts for a press. Uh, but maybe I shut up because I'm already on the test. rose in one body and stood on symmetrical feet. The world was measured in big toes and hands. Her hips spanned a bridge from herself to herself. Her spine was a silent throne. When the woman was a girl, she drew crosses for flats, called her shadow by name, and reaching toward the stars could touch. She lay among nasturtiums at noon, yellow, Jaffa orange, red. She held the mustard pea under her tongue, stuck flat green leaves to her thighs with saliva, placed petals over her eyes. When the woman was a girl, she picked blackberries with her teeth. She watched time drift past in shades of blue and sang with the magpies at the sky. A bee stung her under the lemon tree, teetered and died when she suddenly cried. A fish brushed her shin with its fins. When the woman was a girl, she walked and ran and flew and swam with all the other creatures. Flat on her back in the nasturtium patch, she measured the world in big toes and hands, and it was very large. <laughs> All of that stuff. Writing a story about women who go into the desert. You know, that's, that's where we escape to. By a bark stream, we make camp, looping our arms around bulging torsos of the gums, sarongs brushing the grass webs, and laugh like cookers in the dusk, in the graying bush, clipped by a striking claw, an emu, there, bunched. She's a drumming throat and keen glass eye, revolving, watches us and pecks at her shaggy coat. At the springs, we mix with town women and Mari takes children down to the pool under leaf tops to swim, talk about things with sisters, riding the boundary and vulnerable in the crossfire because she's an urban Aboriginal. They tell her such tales, waltzing her through mysteries. Sometimes she comes back crying over the softest caramel sand. She says she feels like a babe at their breast. And their touch is changing us as we meet change, courting an open future. And she circles me for reasons. Stolen children, she tells me, are crucified children hung between two cultures. And I say, we're all involved in this return. And so it goes, so it goes. Spoken in the spines of thorn bush, a different life blooms from the centre, an ancient tributary of running blood, stumps cut and scarified on the red plains, remembered in the dance. Women burn, woman burn. Five notches in her leg, five relations dead. The dance is told in painful steps, cold hands at her side, and her eyes just blind, forsaken pieces. Trip. Accomplishment. <coughs> On Spring Hill slopes, He'd found a dying man left without food or fire to perish. 
Almost unconscious of our presence, the man stared upon us with a vacant, unmeaning gaze. Ant knew there was no other choice. The man cannot be carried, the tribe must leave. But for the young man, such a tragedy, he records it twice for different years. Careless, it seems, of his own death, why was this so memorable? For an old man whose time had come, letting go <coughs> might be his powerful work, <coughs> like Buddhist monks who turn their faces to the wall and cease to breathe, or the Nanajara woman who begged to be taken to her place and left a while. When her kin returned, she had accomplished death. Death is the last enemy for St Paul and me. But other insights wait. Tayyard's diminishment, perhaps, to learn, or Dickinson's another way to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stories. With digging sticks and hubcap scoops, women are going for honey ants. I'm thrilled to be invited. So useless. Along the dusty track, the senior woman stirs, leans forward, voice pepper sharp, points to a hillock crowned with quartz, a childhood camp. Feet and hands in rhythm, she sings the song of For This Place. I'm excited. Ask for more. Silence. The women look away, walk on. Mm -hmm. My friend touches my arm. It's a gift, she says. You receive a gift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you want a, a repeat of, of it, you'll be able to see it on YouTube at some point. And we'll put, we'll put things on our Facebook site. So if you haven't already liked our Facebook site, do so mm -hmm. and then you'll find out when the things go up as videos. Thank <laughs> you.